I'm thinking I see 40 something. Could I have silver? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Alright, we had to get here early this morning. Low tides in about an hour and a half. Should have been ahead 30 minutes ago, but I had to sleep in a little bit. I just can't do it fine here. Alright, it is a beautiful, beautiful morning out here on the beach. Let's check out just the, the scenery here. Sun's up above the horizon. It's pretty good now. We got a little bit of a cut right here. As you can see, you can see it drop off right here. So you can see that it could have dropped some nice heavy stuff in here. I haven't got a target yet though, so it's not doing too good for me here. But uh, we're going to head down the beach this way. See what we can do right here. Right here on this drop off. I kind of like it. The beach is at a pretty good angle here. So let's see what we got. Here we go. All right, check out the little jelly right here. They're pretty fascinating features actually. No heart, no lungs. Whoa, there you go. They survive. They actually can pull the oxygen through their uh, outer layer here to take in oxygen. Pretty cool. Let me read up on them. That's pretty interesting. All right, first little target here. 24, 25 ones on top of it. Down to where it is. Yeah, I've seen probably a thing or a I think I got it that time. Right there. There it is. Yes, a dime. I see it. First target of the day, right there. Alright, we got my buddy Tom here. He said he ain't been doing too good either. I got one dime so far, but it's five metal detectors out here right now. So, Tom, we got a lot of competition. Yeah, and there's not much out there right now. Show us it. Oh, all <laughs> nice right. Good job, man. <laughs> that's, that's about the best of it so far. But we just getting started. Stay tuned. Boy, that'd be nice if it was real, wouldn't it? Would be. Oh, man. Got a pretty little test. gold bracelet it here. And, I'd take it home and test it and see. Yeah, I'd definitely do a test on it. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think real heavy, it's real, though. but it's pretty there. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Alan's got a little something he found on the Alan Banks here. Alan, what you got? Oh man, you done good, man. Yeah. Got three rings on the Alan Banks. Four rings. Four rings. Four rings. Good what job. That looks that's like. That's fourteen. That's fourteen here. Yeah, yeah. That's a big oh one, too. man, beautiful man. Somebody was just asked me the other day on my, on my YouTube. Can, can you find anything on the Alan Banks? Well, this guy can tell you right now. Yes. Yeah. A lot on the Alan Banks. <laughs> Where to go. There you go. Pretty. Good yeah. job, man. Now that, I can't tell what it is. It doesn't have any markings, but the chain looks gold. But I'm not right. sure. Interesting. Good job, man. Yeah. Good job. Alright, six bucks, 11 cents. That's not getting it for the gig master. We got to hit another beach, I think. So we're going to head back. I think I'm going to try the dry sand on the way back. Maybe we'll pick a couple coins up and uh, head on to another beach. I'm not going to go all the way down here and just Shoreline just not producing today. Gotta move. Let's do it. All right, we may finally get a corner here. <laughs> First one of the day. Tom said he's got a few of them over here, but I hadn't got a dime and a quarter. A dime and a penny is all I had. Tom, I think I see it over here, maybe. Hey, got a quarter time. You're up to 36. <laughs> 36 cents. All right, let's keep getting up. I right, did end up breaking a dollar anyway, but we're gonna go to another beach right now. And I am hiding some shells on the beach. I got some right inside. I'll show a picture up there, and uh, hopefully they'll pick them up and uh, make them give, give them a smile. Anyway, let's get down to the second beach right now. Here we go. I right, just got a nice tin, but I bring it up here. I can see it right now, right there. Look at it. It's a pair of glasses in the basket, and they're oh, they're clip ones actually. But, uh, huh. My loss then. Alright, back it up. Alright, if you can believe it or not, not one coin. Unbelievable! The only good target I got was a little pair of sunglasses, a clip on sunglasses, but uh, other than that, just a couple pieces of trash. That, that's the worst I've ever done at this beach. We're gonna move over to another area that's away from the ocean front because this ocean front is just not producing today. So let's go to a whole different beach. Here we go. Well, beach three is already beat beach two. I got a coin already, 10 cent. Better than the second last beach anyway. Boy, that beach was terrible. All right, here we go. All right, a couple weeks ago, a guy told me his friend lost a ring right here, so I'm gritting it off right now. I found a little turnbuckle and a couple coins, but 
no ring yet. We're gonna, I'm gonna grid this area off for a little bit just to see if I can find it for him. Who knows? He said the guy was a little bit inebriated, so he could have been anywhere probably, but you never know. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Hi, at the long disappoint morning, we might have a ring. Go ready, check it out. Look at that right there. I think we got a ring. Kicked it off of here. Come on here. I said, that looks like a ring. And it looks like a sterling ring, actually. So we, uh, I think we got some sterling ring here. Yeah, that's got to be sterling the way the color is on and all. Oh, it says love, I think. On it. Ah, sweet. All right. First decent find of the day right there. Well, beach number three is definitely paying off. We got a nice sterling. I'm almost 90% sure it's a sterling silver ring. Got some coins. We got a dog tag. Stuggy Tucker. It's got a name and number back. We'll see if they want it back. But anyway, definitely get a few targets on this beach. I like it. Hi, I think we're going to make a full day of it. Two more beaches. I got one. Uh, I got mine. I just thought of another one. I haven't hit in a while, so let's hit two more. Just maybe an hour at each one. We'll be done with the day. This one does pretty good to us, but uh, the time to move. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. I got a 20 target. We're leaving the beach. I dug it, I kicked it out of the hole, and it's a watch! Check it out. Right there, and I think I see a pin to it right there. Look, that's what I would need it for my other watch. I just ordered some. Wow, I don't know why that one's in the hole, but I think it's keeping time too. So we might have another working watch here. Pretty cool. I can't believe it. All right, we're gonna bag that up and uh, we know what time it is now. Time to move. All right, this will be a short run at this beach. I just walked a long way on this beach, didn't get one target, not even a piece of trash. So uh, we're gonna head to the next beach. Come on, maybe pick up some of the way back, you never know, but one straight walk and we're out of here. This is rough here on this one too. All right, thank you. All right, we did a little bit better at this beach, 46 cent. And I got a penny here, and I think it's a weedy. So that's pretty good. We'll have to try to clean up and get a date off that. There is uh, some silver in here. Uh, Y'all might have heard of Silver City before. So, uh, But I hadn't been able to get anything lately, but I did just get a weedy. So it could be some silver left in here. Let's keep looking. All right, looks like I did just kick maybe a quarter out. Is it silver? That is the question. Is this a silver quarter? Ooh, I don't see uh, I see washing on it, so... We're gonna have to rub the edge of this coin to see if we got any. Well, I don't see any right off the bat here. I still don't see any. So this could be silver. I'm gonna have to take my camera, we'll zoom in on this and see if we got silver. That would be awesome if we get some silver. Y'all probably can see that date. I can't even see it. I'm thinking I see 40 something. Could I have silver? Oh my god, I can't believe it. All right, let's check it out. I love it. All right, well, that one quarter was silver. We got a silver quarter, which is pretty awesome. Uh, this last beach we'll hit here, we're going to just hit the shoreline, and we're out of here. We're not going to spend a lot of time here. So uh, let's get out here and do it. Y'all ready? Here we go. All right, my first target on the beach is a sight find. Can y'all see it? You don't see it yet. Oh my gosh, sitting right on top. Somebody just dropped it out. So, well, we didn't get stuck at this beach anyway. All right, here we go. All right, we'll pick up a few coins at this beach. Not many, but just dug a quarter and this nickel right here. Nickel gave you such a good sound, man. Anyway, we're about to wrap it up in about five minutes. Stay tuned. All right, believe it or not, this beach has actually produced another wheat penny. Wow, two wheat pennies a day. Pretty cool. All right, stay tuned. It was a silver day. Boy, I didn't think it was going to be any silver at all the way it started off today. Man, it was slow. That first beach I hit, I think I finally broke a dollar. Uh, Y'all see me hit that Virginia Beach a lot there. But I said, man, this is way too slow for me. The gig master likes to be digging. So, I said, I got to move. So, I tried another spot, then another spot, then another spot. Then another. Anyway, I think we had about five beaches or something like that today. But we ended up, and we spent all day. We, it was a full day out there today. Sometimes I can go four hours, find three gold rings a day. I spent all day, but we did get some couple of decent things today. One really pretty sterling silver ring. I think it's ring number 114, if I'm, if I'm correct on that. But anyway, let's check everything out right here. Here we go. 
All right, we're digging a dinosaur, y'all. So I'm gonna dig a dinosaur today. A lot of trash. Not not a uh, couple of things there. Nothing too. That thing was giving me a heck. But I want to show you this too. These little tiny tarts. That's like a six or eight, I think. Six or eight. It's hard to find them sometimes, but they were good sounding targets. Uh, a little bit of fishing in a little car. Uh, got some um, a pretty good clad. One, two, three, fifty. Over four, over four dollars in clad, which is not bad at all. We gotta turn some clad in. I got a whole jar full, and it's overflowing. So we got a good amount of clad. We gotta turn in. I didn't look. This one has some writing on it right here, but I think it's a fishing thing. The way it looks, it's got one of those things like a fishing thing on it. So I'm sure that's what that is. That's an unknown right there. It'll probably come off some kind of jewelry, some kind of bling. Same thing with that right there. Uh, we got a dog tag. Got his name right there. Another piece of a, like a lid button or something. I'm not sure what that is. This is actually a real piece of lid over Silver City. This old stuff shows up in there. And um, that's where that came from there. Um, we did get... Uh, here's another piece of junk jewelry. I'm not sure what that came off of. Looks like a horseshoe, doesn't it? Maybe that's what gave me some luck today after I found that. I don't know. But we did get some silver here in 1942. I was shocked at first. You know, I just dug... A couple regular quarters not far from this one. And I said, well, let me show it. I always get the edge and look on the edge. And most of the time I can see that cop. I didn't see it on this one. I said, hmm, that's interesting. Let's check it out. So sure enough, 1942. I'm loving it. Right beside that, Wheat Penny, 1941. And another one I had dug it a little further over, 1950. So two Wheaties and a... Um, a nice uh, silver quarter, which is not bad. I love silver's always good, man. I did get a watch. I dug this out of the sand. Um, I didn't think it would be too good because the, the band, you can see, is kind of kind of starting to mess up a little bit. But I actually had the pin was right on the sand. I think y'all saw it in the video. I saw it. That's what happened. The pin came out of this end of the band, and that's why he lost it apparently. But um, it's just a cheesy, cheapy watch. My wife just looked it up at Walmart, fifteen dollars, I think. So nothing great on that right there. Uh, but I tell you, I think I like this better than anything right here. I put a picture up there of what it looked like before I cleaned it up. I got a little video I'm gonna put out showing how I cleaned it up. But uh, anyway, that thing is like brand new now. It's been all up. It was I used my mandrel and straightened it out and buffed it out and cleaned it up. Love. Pretty cool, a sterling silver ring. I like it. Silver is always good. Man, I love it. One more ring to add to the pile. And I'm putting it back there with the rest of them. I'm going to do a closeout, end of the year, of all of them. So you can't, I can't wait to get everything and get to see what we got. All right, well, I appreciate everybody coming along today. I hope y'all enjoyed getting out today. Um, it's supposed to rain a lot the rest of this week, so I don't know how much we'll be getting out. But um, we'll keep you entertained. We'll get some videos coming, so stay tuned. All right, I appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment, below, share. Subscribe to the Gig Master because you never know what we'll be doing next. Stay tuned.